Hey everyone, so today I have another haul and I know I have posted a lot of these but you just gotta accept you're gonna be seeing a lot of hauls on my channel because I shop a lot and that's just me. So also like my voice is a little bit like <clears throat> weird because I'm sick again and that's also just like part of who I am in the winter. I'm sick all the time. So sorry if I sound stuffy or like raspy, whatever. Okay, I have stuff from Zara, Brandy Melville, Nasty Gal, TJ Maxx, and a boutique, and some shoes from Forever 21 and some other shoes. So I'm just going to get into this because it's kind of like a good amount of stuff. Not huge, but yes. Okay, so the first place is Zara. I just got two sweaters there. Um... Not just. It was like a little bit ago. But the first one is this one. And it's a cream color. But you guys, this is literally like the softest sweater ever. And it feels like a blanket. And it kind of like has a little bit of a higher neck. It's just so soft. Of course people are honking outside. Because what are they not? But I love that. It looks good with like everything. And I just want to live in it. And then this one is like a dark gray. And it kind of looks like a sweatshirt. But the neckline is really cool. It's like sweater material and it's black. So it's like the nice contrast between the gray and the black. And it kind of like you're wearing a sweatshirt basically. But it's a little more dressed up with this neckline. And then I went to a holiday market with my friends recently. And Drift Collective was there. Which is like a little boutique vintage remaking clothes type thing. I'll link them below. But they're based out of New Hampshire. And they come to like markets and stuff in Boston. I have a few shirts from them. But I got this sick sweatshirt. And it has yellow sleeves. It's comfort colors. I'm pretty sure. But it's literally so soft. But my favorite part is this little patch on it. Which is like the Rugrats uh, font. But it says dope. And it's cut off on the bottom. And it's just like really different than any sweatshirt I have. I have so many sweatshirts, but like this one is just so cool and unique and there's like only one of it. All their stuff is one of a kind, which is so cool. And they just like make them with parts of different sweatshirts, if you know what I mean. And then they find the patches just kind of like all over when they're traveling. Very cool company. So next, Brandy Melville. I have like a few shirts I got recently. This is the first one. You'll see it better in the try-on, but it's a little cropped long sleeve black ribbed shirt with a zipper in the middle that can be unzipped from the top or the bottom and it like hits the perfect length with jeans and i have not worn it yet but i'm really into this look because i'm done a zipper instead of buttons is like really different and then for some reason i'm on like a turtleneck grind so i got two turtlenecks from forever nope brandy melville the first is light gray and it's ribbed and it's really really soft it's a little thicker and it fits pretty tight um and then it just has like traditional turtleneck you can like scrunch it or roll it whatever you want to do but the girl in the store was wearing this and i had to be i like asked her where she got it and then when she said there i had to buy it basically the same thing but in black because i feel like a black one of these just matches with like everything skirts pants i just got this one this week um it's a different material it's not ribbed but it's still really soft with the big turtleneck and fits pretty fitted fits pretty fitted it's pretty fitted and and then oh my god my favorite purchase of the entire haul is these sweatpants and they are john galt from brandy melville they're just gray sweatpants with the like fitted uh what is this called like jogger style honking thank you and they're just soft on the inside but i don't know what it is i can't take i like can't stop wearing them like every night i like put them on i want to wear them every day i want to live in them i want more colors and i checked and they didn't have other colors in this style oh my god I like literally, they're the perfect high-waisted, perfect thickness, so soft, so comfortable, like would live in them if I could. I have a few things from Nasty, Ga Nasty Gal, 
Um, I made an order like right after Black Friday, maybe Cyber Monday. First is this belt and it is snake print belt with a gold square buckle. And the cool thing about their belts is they don't have holes in them. So like you just put it through and just like tighten it where you need it and then you can you know it fits everyone so it's great and i really like the snake print with like black jeans for going out good and i wore it this weekend what else can i say and then i got these gray pants that are checker print like how to explain them they have high-waisted like stretchy waistband and pockets this waistband is literally so comfortable and then at the bottom they're slightly cropped and they have like a rolled hem but it's sewed in place they literally fit so nicely like they're loose and then they're tight where they need to be and they are just so like they're a little thin for winter but honestly i've been wearing them and it's been fine and i feel like they just look like really mature and like you could wear them to work i've been just wearing them like with sweaters and stuff because I'm not working right now but I got them in a medium and they fit me perfectly but I finally found my perfect gray checkered pants and I'm very happy I just kind of like throw everything on my bed after I got this shirt which says rebel rebel on it with like a lightning bolt in red and it is so here's the story it was like huge when I got it it's a 12, which is a US 8 I want to say um so I cut it and honestly the material is a little weird and like the cutting didn't really go the way I wanted it to but I did crop it and I haven't worn it yet just because it's winter but I do like it and I'm hoping I can either like fix the way I cut it or wash it and it'll look better but I kind of messed it up slightly my fault but I do like the graphic a lot so hopefully I can fix it I got this bag at TJ Maxx and it is the brand bought Kia and it just has like studding here and then this is a pocket on the outside and then we have a snap pocket in the front a zipper pocket with a mini and a more and a zipper pocket in there and then another snap pocket on the back so like this thing is an accordion it's actually really really big and you guys it was two it retails for 228 on like Saks, Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus I got it for 39 39 39 dollars which like they still sell the black one for 228 this must have been an older color but I'm so excited about it. It's like the perfect size for daytime. I love. But I don't know if you'll be able to find it. But if your TJ Maxx has this, highly recommend. So you might have seen in my last video that I was wearing this. But I got the IMG jacket in black. And I have it in tan already. But I got the black one on Cyber Monday from Princess Polly. So it was like 60 something. Got it in a small again. And I've been wearing this basically every single day. And it's like been in the 30s now here. So it's like kind of getting too cold to wear this. Also on Cyber Monday, I ordered these shoes. And I'm like very conflicted on how I feel about them. So they are these Nikes. Um... They're black suede and they have camo checker print on them for the check mark. And like, I want to like them. I really do. They're on sale for $40, which like, if you have Air Force Ones, you know that's like crazy cheap. And I got them in a kid size, so that's also helped with like how cheap they were. But I don't know. I like, I'm not obsessed with them and... I have been trying to wear them, but I just, I don't know, there's something about them. Let me know what you think, if you like them or not. And then I think this is maybe the last, like, clothing -y item. Actually, they're shoes. But I just got these at Forever 21. Um, they are pointed toe, shiny, patent boots. And they have a 
circle ring thing on them. The heel is like very chunky and block heel. They're not like too tall. And I just thought they were really fun. And I think they're really funky with like jeans, wear them out, whatever. I haven't like worn them yet. I just got them, but I think they're cool. And they were $34.90. Also on Cyber Monday, I made an order on Glossier. And I got, um, like, a, they had a sale. I think it was 20% off everything. But I got Boy Brow in brown. And I got the Lidster in slip. And the Lidster is, like, a liquid eyeshadow. And I look, this is, like, weird. But it has an applicator. I just got it on my hand. It has an applicator that looks like a lip gloss. But I use my finger to put it on. Like, I dab it on my ring finger and then I, like, put it on. But I've been using both of these every day. They've made it into my everyday makeup room. But boy brow is so easy. I never used to use anything colored in my eyebrows. But I kind of like decided I wanted to try it out. So I like has a tiny, tiny little. It looks like a mascara wand. But it's like tiny. Not that you can probably see that. But I just used that. But yeah, I think that's everything. I'm trying to think. Everything is now like on my bed. And I need to go put it away and I'm losing daylight. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe to stick around. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video. And hopefully I won't be sick by then.